good morning good morning good morning you guys um it is roughly coming up to seven o'clock in the morning so what i thought i would do is see what the energy is um around us and what's coming into our day so let's see what the cards say what's the energy that's coming in today what's the collective energy for everybody today wow okay and this was the card that came out the queen of wands so we will pop that there and see what your affirmation is for today what's the affirmation oh the quick and the card that you got there is dreams the universe speaks to you through your dreams right okay so with regards to the queen of wands energy she's reminding you that you need to tap into being upbeat and courageous determined um you're going to be seeing a creative process through and some of your life's purposes and even in the face of adversity you've got desires and you've got goals that you need to be really optimistic about you need to be highly self-actualized and self-aware uh, because this is where you're channeling your strengths and your weaknesses today so you want to make sure that you're thinking about what makes you confident and what makes you feel a little bit triggered keeping yourself grounded and also keeping yourself protective you also may feel inclined to be quite a bit of a social butterfly at some point this week because it suggests that you will be leading quite a busy day, busy week, making connections with others and putting yourself out there as you p pursue um, a creative vision that you have. Um, you want in and needing to express yourself fully um, to your external world um you'll probably find that you're the center of attention as well you're also being encouraged to get to know your shadow self the lesser known and sometimes darker side of who you actually really are because these are the 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 doorsteps of your triggers and your traumas and the things that you've been through in your life so it could be good for you to do a little bit of shadow work as well um, especially if you're finding that you're triggered if this was with if this is with regards to work career and finances this is suggesting that you're going to have an opportunity to shine your work to other people and you're going to be inspiring and quite confident in what you're doing um financially it actually brings positive energy and assures you that your financial situation is on check you're on par with things you're on target if it's about relationships and you're looking for love it suggests that you're happy to put yourself out there and dive into the social scene with the hope of finding a potential partner um you'll probably be bursting with confidence and this vivacious energy um of enticement towards people if you're already in an established relationship um this is probably one of my favorite cards because it reflects the warmth and love in a present relationship and shows that you can have a deep friendship and a deep romance at the same time but if your relationship is struggling the queen of wands is pointing out that you've come to a realization that you deserve better um and you're probably going to start thinking about going out on your own but it may be daunting for you to think about that to be honest with you but you've got to remember that you are an outgoing person with a lot of um, warmth and charisma. And that can be shared with people that actually appreciate you in the first place. So never think too deeply about what's falling away. Try and always think about what's to come in your life. And this will always keep you in an energetic frequency of feeling grateful um, which then establishes you to be on a frequency to elicit more things. And whilst you have all of this confidence and all of this creativity running around in your blood and your veins right now, you're better off utilising it to your best advantage. Start to manifest your dreams. We've got a new moon coming up soon um, and it's going into the planet Mars, I'm being told, and the astrological signs of, uh, hang on a second, the astrological signs of Sagittarius and Gemini too so it could be a great time for you guys to actually start journaling what your dreams are and then look back on them within like a year see if any of them have come true that is the guidance I've got for you guys today I hope that you have a wonderful day um leave your comments and your feedback below 
And remember to affirm to yourself of your regality, affirm to yourself your confidence and affirm what you want to bring into your life and disregard what you don't. Take care. Massive love. Mwah. Bye.